two is the time now. Welcome back. We do have an important health alert for you this morning. If you haven't heard, tick-borne diseases are on the rise. And with more and more outdoor activities on our schedule, we're taking a closer look at how we can protect ourselves. 7 Action News reporter Matt Smith joins us live in Southfield this morning. And Matt, how bad is this problem? Well, Keaton, there is a new health report out that shows this is a growing problem talking about ticks in our area. And as you know, tick-borne illnesses are on the rise. With tick season in full swing, Consumer Reports has advice on how to protect you from and your family from these blood-sucking creatures. While not all ticks carry the same diseases, at least one variety of disease-transmitting tick can be found in every state. Lyme disease is the most common. Now, the CDC estimates that about 300,000 Americans develop Lyme each year, we could see even more this year. Well, one theory is that um, warmer weather, longer seasons, means that there's a longer period of time for ticks to be active. Another theory is that the spread of ticks hosts, so mainly deer, is getting bigger. They're in more places, which means ticks are in more places, which means that we have a greater chance of running across them. The best way to avoid a tick-borne infection is not to get bit in the first place by always using an effective insect repellent. Consumer Reports' extensive testing of insect repellents found products that contain between 15 and 30 percent DEET are best at repelling ticks, along with products with 20 percent picaridin or 30 percent oil of lemon eucalyptus. To make sure your yard is less attractive to ticks, CR says keep your lawn mowed, remove leaves and other debris, and try to let as much sun into your yard as possible. A border of wood chips or bark-style mulch around your property can also help create a barrier to keep ticks from entering. When you're in wooded areas, you want to make sure to wear long sleeves, long pants, closed-toed shoes, and it's a good idea to tuck your pants into your socks. Now, if you do find that tick, don't use fire to try to burn it out. That's an old school way to do it, and it doesn't work that well. You should be using tweezers. you got to pull it out using steady pressure, get the head and the entire body out. And here's one more thing. Coming up at 645, we're also going to be talking about other ways that you can avoid this and also how you can prevent it. One more tip for you out there. If you walk in and your clothes are damp, you should throw them in the dryer at least 10 minutes. It'll help with that heat to get any other ticks that are still hanging under your clothes, but might not have bit you to get them off so they don't crawl over onto your skin and then bite you once you get back indoors. For now, we're live in Southfield. Matthew Smith, 7 Action News. I tell you what, you're doing a tick check, you know, with your buddies, with your family when you come back from a walk. To, yeah, Matthew, it's so important too because a lot of times you don't feel them. And you got to check the kids because they yeah. are not thinking about this at all.